love working in the city of North Las Vegas. It's so active. There's always something going on. Our radio is always busy. I worked at a sheriff's office before, and we probably handled in one month the amount of calls that I handle here in one night. So it's a big difference, and I really like it. I really like staying busy, and I really like the work here. Three Baker. Well, there's a minivan up here. It's uh, driving through the parking lot with its lights off. He's uh, not really driving the normal way of traffic. We're going to go see if we can catch up with him, see what he's doing. Control on our street, same traffic. Okay. Control confirming you said it was Washington physically handicapped. Upper. Copy, I'll be 47 without it. Cheyenne. Okay. Stay in the car. Stay in the car. Put your hands on the steering wheel and do not move. Do you understand? Are you handicapped? Whose car is this? It's a free. Why are you driving it? Huh? Okay, why are you cruising that parking lot over there with lights off and then coming through here? And I was just turning the lights on. I was trying to get over here to get some meat. Give me your ID. Now, whose car is this? What is this whose car is this? For free. Where do okay. you stay? I stay on, on, on Cheyenne. I don't have a set address. I just Put got your foot back in the car. I just got out of prison. So what? Keep your hands on the stand with. I just got out of prison. So what? Uh, home invasion, I believe. What else? Uh, attempt robbery. Why are you sweating so bad? Because it's hot. It's hot as hell. Y'all got to be hot. How do I got you hot? I'm standing out here too. I'm not sweating. Was down. I was cruising. The air was beat. The air was breezing in my face. It's hot. Okay, so you can't tell me anything about the person who drives this vehicle. You can't tell me where he lives. Yeah, you can't tell just, me where you stay. We've been staying on, on Walnut and Cheyenne. I just, I just moved on to Walnut and Cheyenne. He's a cool person. We How long ago? Beer. We've been drinking beer together. I just, I just moved down that way just not too long ago. You know what I'm saying? I drink beer with the guy. His name Juan. And that's not who the owner of the vehicle is. Face that way, but stay in the car. Put your hands behind your back. Give me your other hand. Do not get out of the car. Give me your other hand. Get out of the car. Ah, ah, hold on, hold on. All right, but I ain't do nothing. Oh, so you well. did something. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. Spread your feet wider. Thank you. He don't have a driver's license. He's cruising the parking lot's blacked out. He can't tell me where he lives. Some guy named Juan gave him this vehicle, but that's all he knows. He paid Juan 20 bucks to come to the Panda Express up here from Walnut and Cheyenne. Can't tell me nothing about the vehicle. Can't tell me nothing about Juan. Can't tell me anything. So. You don't know where Juan lives or anything? Juan lives on Cheyenne. I'm going to do a VIN check and stuff. Do you have anything on you? No, you don't have nothing on you? Can you have him sit down and kick his shoes off? Yeah. Oh, and look here. He was probably going to do a robbery. He's got priors for robbery. Oh, yeah, he's got priors for robbery and home invasion and burglary. And this mask is laying right next to the driver's seat. Hey, look what else he had in there laying next to the driver's seat. He was about to go do a robbery. This is why he's trying to jump out of the vehicle on me. Oh. Will you make it safe, please? Yeah. Let's try to show to you. That's not even mine. I don't even... You don't own, own one? I don't even own no gun. That's not mine. Hey, you know what? He might have actually done a robbery already. Whose stuff is 
all the, the all these bank cards in there. That was just came out of the glove box. Just magically found itself in there or what? Right now, so far, you're under arrest for some traffic charges. That's your minor charges. Your major charges are going to be convicted person in possession of a firearm and possession of stolen firearm. That's a stolen gun. So right now, you're going down for at least two felonies. If I can find out who the owner of this is, and if they say that you stole this vehicle, you might be getting some robbery charges added on. I don't know. We're going to have to see what happens then. You're going to be going to jail now. So um, we sent somebody out to the house? Yeah, when you showed up out of the house for our victims, Las Vegas Metro is over there already working a robbery, kidnapping, grand larceny auto already case. And so he spoke with them. Everything seems to match up. So they're going to come over here to a one-on-one. Who's that? They said that they can positively ID them. These are be their detectives. Okay. And said that they can do a positive one-on-one. So Perfect. Great, thanks. So how did this even begin? The guy, victim was in a wheelchair. They picked him up in the vehicle, told him to drive to an ATM. Uh, they gave him the pin. They kicked him out of the car in his wheelchair on the side of the street. Okay. I stop him right here, pull him out, start going through the van. There is this mask right here laying on the ground, laying between the seats. This gun's laying on the passenger side seat, loaded with one in the chamber. They tell him if you call the police, we'll kill your family. Is that why the victim was reluctant to come yes. forward, because they had threatened to kill his family? Exactly, exactly. So they uh, drop him off, and then uh, he ends up having a citizen call in and telling us uh, what happened. And we responded, we're taking the report when you guys stopped him for this. Yeah, I'm the guy, I know, I know. When he put in my head, I see I am. Fantastic. That's how he described it as a cap. Of so you got all your stuff back? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. Taking it straight from a man in a wheelchair. He's got no shame in his game.